Corinthians, the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 1. Paul called to be an apostle of Messiah Yeshia, some call Christ, through the will of mighty God Ahia and Sothenes, our brother, and to the church of El Elohia which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Messiah Yeshia, called to be saints with all that in every place call upon the name of Messiah Yeshia, our King and Savior, both theirs and ours. Grace be unto you and peace from El Elohia, our Heavenly Father, and from our King and Savior, Yeshia, some call Christ. I thank my mighty God, Ahia, always on your behalf, for the grace of El Elohia, which is given you by Messiah, Yeshia, Christ, that in everything ye are enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Messiah, Yeshia, was confirmed in you, so that you come behind in no gift, waiting for the coming of our King and Savior, Yeshia, some call Christ, who shall also confirm you unto the end, that ye may be blameless in the day of our King and Savior, Yeshia. Mighty God, a highest faithful by whom you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Yeshia, Messiah, our King and Savior. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our King and Savior, Yeshia, some call Christ, that ye all speak the same thing in that, there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. For it had been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by them which are of the house of Chloe, that there are contentions among you. Now this I say, that every one of you said, I am of Paul, I am of Apollos, I am of Cephas, and I am of Messiah, Yeshia. Is Messiah, Yeshia, divided? Was Paul crucified for you, or were ye baptized in the name of Paul? I thank mighty God Ahia that I baptized none of you but Crippus and Gaius, let ye, lest any should say that I have baptized in my own name, and I baptized also the household of Stephanas. Besides, I know not whether I baptized any other. For Messiah Shia sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Messiah Shia be made of none effect. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of mighty God Ahia. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is this wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Had not mighty God Ahia made foolish the wisdom of this world? For after that, in the wisdom of mighty God Ahia, the world by wisdom knew not mighty God Ahia. It pleased El Elohi Ahia by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. For the Jews required a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Messiah Yeshua crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness. But unto them which are called by Jews and Greeks, Messiah Yeshua, the power of mighty God Ahia, and the wisdom of mighty God Ahia. Because the foolishness of Ahia is wiser than men, and the weakness of mighty God Ahia is stronger than men. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men, after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble, are called. But El Elohi had chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and mighty God Ahia had chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, and the base things of the world, and the things which are despised had mighty God Ahia chosen, yeah, and things which are not to bring to naught things that are, that no flesh should glory in the presence of mighty God Ahia, but of him are ye in Messiah Yeshua who of El Elohi is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. That according as it is written, he that glorified, let him glory in mighty God Ahia. Chapter 2 And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of Ahia, our mighty God. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Messiah Yeshua, him called Christ, and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness, and in fear, and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of mighty God Ahia. 
How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect? Yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of mighty God Ahia in a mystery, even hidden wisdom, which mighty God Ahia ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified our King and Savior of glory. But as it is written, I had not seen, nor ear had neither have entered into the heart of man the things which mighty God Ahia had prepared for them that love him. But El Elohi Ahai had revealed them unto us by his Spirit, for the Spirit searched all things, yea, the deep things of mighty God Ahia. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the Spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of mighty God Ahia knoweth no man but the Spirit of mighty God Ahia. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of El Elohi Ahia, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of Ahia, our mighty God. Which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of mighty God Ahia, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who had known the mind of mighty God Ahia, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ, Messiah Yeshua. Chapter 3 And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Messiah Yeshua, some call Christ. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for here unto ye were not able to bear it, neither yet now are able. For ye are yet carnal, for whereas there is among you envying and strife, and divisions are yet not carnal, and walk as men. For while one said, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos, are ye not carnal? Who then is Paul, and who is Apollos, but ministers by whom ye believe, even as mighty God Ahia gave to many men? I have planted Apollos, watered, but El Elohia gave the increase. So then neither is he that planted anything, neither he that watered, but mighty God Ahia that giveth the increase. Now he that planted and he that watered are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. But we are laborers together with mighty God Ahia, ye are mighty God Ahia's husbandry, ye are mighty God Ahia's building. According to the grace of Ahia, our mighty God, which is given unto me, as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another building thereon. But let every man take it heed how to build it thereupon. For other foundations can no man lay than that is laid, which Yeshia, Messiah, is Christ. Now if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide which he had built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yes, so as by fire. Know ye not that ye are the temple of mighty God Ahia, and that the spirit of mighty God Ahia dwelleth in you? If any man defileth the temple of mighty God Ahia, he shall mighty God Ahia destroy. For the temple of El Elohi Ahia is holy, which temple you are. Let no man deceive himself. Let any man among you seem to be wise in this world. Let him become a fool that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with mighty God Ahia. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness, and again Ahia knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. Therefore let no man glory in men, for all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas, or the world, or life, or death, or things present or things to come, all are yours. And ye are Messiah Yeshayas, and Messiah Yeshayah is a mighty God Ahias. Chapter 4 let a man so account of us, as of the ministers of Christ, and steward of the mysteries of mighty God Ahia. Moreover, it is required and steward that a man be found faithful. But with me it is a very small thing that I should be judged of you, or of man's judgment, yea, a judge not my own self. 
For I know nothing by myself, yet I am not hereby justified, but he that judged me is mighty God Ahia. Therefore judge nothing before the time until mighty God Ahia come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness, and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts, and, the, and then shall every man have praise of Ahia, our El Elohi. And these things, brethren, I have in figure transferred to myself and to Apollos for your sakes, that ye might learn in us not to think of men above that which is written, that no one of you be puffed up for one against another. But who maketh thee to differ from another? And what hast thou that thou didst not receive? Now if thou didst receive it, why dost thou glory as if thou hast not received it? Now ye or fool, now ye or rich, ye have reigned as kings without us. And I would and I would to mighty God Ahia ye did reign, that we also might reign with you. For I think that mighty God Ahia hath set forth us the apostles last, and it were appointed to death, for we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. We are fools for Messiah's sake, but ye are wise in Messiah Yeshia. We are weak, but we Ye are strong, you are honorable, but we are despised. Even unto this present hour we both hunger and thirst, and are naked and are buffed, and have no certain dwelling place. And labor working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless, being persecuted, we suffer it. Being defamed, we entreat, we are made as the filth of the world, and are the offscoring of all things unto this day. I write not these things to shame you, but as my beloved son, I warn you. For though you have ten thousand instructors in Messiah Yeshia, yet have you not many fathers. For in Messiah Yeshia I have begotten you through the gospel. Wherefore I beseech you, be ye followers of me. For this cause have I sent unto you Timotheus, who is my beloved son and faithful in Messiah Yeshia who shall bring you into remembrance of my ways, which be in Messiah, Yeshia. As I teach everywhere in every church, now some are puffed up, as though I would not come to you. But I will come to you surely, if Messiah, Yeshia, will and will know, not the speech of them which are puffed up, but the power. For the kingdom of mighty God Ahia is not in word, but in power. What will ye? Shall I come unto you with a rod, or in love, and in the spirit, or meekness? Chapter 5 It is reported commonly that there is fornication among you, and such fornication as is not so much as named among the Gentiles, that one should have his father's wife. And ye are puffed up, and have not rather mourned that he that had done this deed might be taken away from among you. For I verily as absent in body, but present in spirit, have judged already as though I were present concerning him that has so done this deed. In the name of our King and Savior, Yeshia, some call Christ, when ye are gathered together in my spirit with the power of our King and Savior, Yeshia, Messiah, to deliver such an one unto Satan for the destruction of the flesh, that the spirit may be saved in the day of Messiah, Yeshia. Your glorying is not good. Know ye not that a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump? Purge out, therefore, the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump. As ye are unleavened, for even Messiah Yeshia, our Passover, is sanctified for us, is sacrificed it for us. Therefore let us keep the feast, not with old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. I wrote unto you in an epistle not to company with fornicators, yet not altogether with the fornicators of this world, or with the covetous or extortioners, or with the idolaters, for then must ye need go out of the world. But now I have written unto you not to keep company, if any man that is called a brother be a fornicator, or covetous, or an idolater, or a railer, or a drunkard, or an extortioner, with such and one know not to eat. For what have I to do? For what have I to do to judge them also that are without? Do not ye judge them that are within? But them that are without, mighty God, a higher judge it. Therefore put away from among yourselves that wicked person. Chapter 6 Dare any of you, having a matter against another, go to law before the unjust, and not before the saints? 
Do you not know that the saints should judge the world? And if the world should be judged by you, are you unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Know ye not that we should judge angels? Know ye not that we should judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? If then ye have judgment of things pertaining to this life, set them to judge who are least esteemed in the church. I speak to your shame. It is so that there is not a wise man among you. No, not one that shall be able to judge between his brethren. But brother goeth to law with brother, and that before the unbelievers. Now therefore there is utterly a fault among you, because ye go to law one with another. Why do ye not rather take wrong? Why do ye not rather suffer yourselves to be defrauded? Nay, ye do wrong and defraud, and that your brethren. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of mighty God Ahia? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminates, nor sodomites, nor abusers, or themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, nor gays, nor lesbians, shall inherit the kingdom of mighty God Ahia. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of our King and Savior, Yeshua, some call Christ, and by the Spirit of our Heavenly Father, our El Elohi, Ahia. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Meats for the belly, and the belly for the meats, but mighty God, Ahia, shall destroy both it and them. Now the body is not for fornication, but for mighty God Ahia, and mighty God Ahia for the body. And Elohim Ahia had both raised up our King and Savior Yeshua, and will also raise us up by his own power. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Messiah Yeshua? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an harlot? Mighty God Ahia forbid. What? Know ye not that... He which is joined to an harlot is one body, for two said he shall be one flesh, but he that is joined unto mighty God Ahia is one spirit. Flee fornication, every sin that a man do is without the body, but he that committed fornication sinned against his own body. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of mighty God Ahia, and the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit which is in you, which you have of El Elohi Ahia, and you are not your own? For you are bought with a price, therefore glorify mighty God Ahia in your body and in your spirit, which is our mighty God Ahia's. Chapter 7 Now concerning the things whereof ye wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence, and likewise also the wife unto the husband. The wife had no power of her own body, but the husband, and likewise also the husband had no power of his own body, but the wife. Defraud ye not one the other, except it be with consent for a time that ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer, and come together again, that Satan tempt you not for your incontinency. But I speak this by permission, and not of commandment, for I would that all men were even as I myself. But every man had his proper gift of mighty God Ahia, one after this manner, and another after that. I say, therefore, to the unmarried and widows, it is good for them if they abide even as I, but if they cannot contain, let them marry, for it is better to marry than to burn. And unto the married I command, yet not I but the mighty God Ahia, let not the wife depart from her husband. But, at, but and if she depart, let her remain unmarried or be reconciled to her husband and let not the husband put away his wife. But to the rest speak I, not Messiah Yeshua. If any brother had a wife that believe it not and she be pleased to do well with him, let him not put her away. And the woman which had an husband that believe it not and if he be pleased do well with her, let her not leave him. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife, and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Else were your children unclean, but now 
or they holy. But if the unbelieving depart, let him depart. A brother or a sister is not under bondage in such cases, but mighty God Ahiah had called us to peace. For what knowest thou, O wife, whether thou shalt save thy husband? Or how knowest thou, O man, whether thou shalt save thy wife? But as El Elohi Ahiah had distributed to every man, as our King and Savior Yeshai had called every one, so let him walk, and so ordain I in all churches. Is any man called, being circumcised? Let him not become uncircumcised. Is any called in uncircumcision? Let him not be circumcised. Circumcision is nothing, and uncircumcision is nothing, but the keeping of the commandment of El Elohi Ahiah. Let every man abide in the same calling wherein he was called. Or thou called being a servant, care not for it, but if thou mayest be made free, use it rather. For he that is called in Messiah Yeshia, being a servant, is Messiah Yeshia's freeman. Likewise also he that is called being free in Messiah's servant. Ye are brought with a price, be not ye the servant of men. Brethren, let every man wherein he is called therein abide with mighty God Ahiah. Now concerning virgins, I have no commandment of Messiah Yeshia, yet I give my judgment as one that had obtained mercy of Messiah Yeshia to be faithful. I suppose, therefore, that there is good for the present distress, I say, that is good for a man so to be. Or thou bound unto a wife, seek not to be loosed. Or thou loosed from a wife, seek not a wife. But and if thou marry, thou hast not sinned. And if a virgin marry, she had not sinned. Nevertheless, such shall have trouble in the flesh, but I spare you. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they have none. And they that weep as though they wept not. And they that rejoice as though they rejoice not. And they that buy as though they possessed not. And they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passeth away. But I would have you without carefulness, he that is unmarried, carried for the things that belong to our King and Savior Yeshia, how he pleaseth Messiah Yeshia. But he that is married, carried for the things that are of the world, how he may please his wife. There is difference also between a wife and a virgin. The unmarried woman carried for the things of Messiah Yeshia, that she may be holy both in body and in spirit. But she that is Mary carried for the things of the world, how she may please her husband. And this I speak for your own profit, not that I may cast a snare upon you, but for that which is comingly, and that ye may attend unto Messiah Shia without distraction. But if any man think that he behaved himself uncommonly toward his virgin, if she pass the flower of her age, and need so require, let him do what he will, he sinneth not. Let them marry. Nevertheless, he that standeth steadfast in his heart, having no necessity, but had power over his own will, and had so decreed in his heart that he will keep his virgin, do it well. So then he that giveth her in marriage, do it well, but he that giveth her not in marriage, do it better. The wife is bound by the law as long as her husband liveth, but if her husband be dead, she is at liberty to be married to whom she will, only in Messiah Yeshia. But she is happier if she so abide after my judgment, and I think also that I have the spirit of mighty God Ahia. Chapter 8 Now as touching things offered unto idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puff it up, but charity edify it. And if any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know. But if any man love mighty God, a higher the same is known of him. As concerning therefore the eating of those things that are offered in sacrifice unto idols, we know that an idol is nothing in this world, in the world, that there is none other God but one. For though there be that or called gods, whether in heaven or in earth, as there be gods, many and lords, many. But to us there is but one El Elohi, Ahiah, the heavenly Father, of whom all things and we in him, and one King and Savior, Yeshia, some call Christ, by whom are all things and we by him. Howbeit there 
is not in every man that knowledge. For some would conscience of the idol until this hour eat it as a thing offered unto an idol, and their conscience being weak is defiled. But meat commended us not to El higher for neither if we eat or we the better, neither if we eat not or we the worse. But take heed lest by any means this liberty of yours become a stumbling block to them that are weak. For if any man see thee which has knowledge sit at meat in idols temples, shall not the conscience of him which is weak be emboldened to eat those things which are offered to idols? And though thy knowledge shall the weak brother perish for whom Christ died, both when ye sin so against the brethren and wound their weak conscience, yet sin against Messiah Yeshua. Wherefore, if meat make my brother to offend, I will eat no flesh while the world standeth, lest I make my brother to offend. Chapter 9 Am I not an apostle? Am I not free? Have I not seen Messiah Yeshua, our King and Savior? Or not ye my work in Messiah Yeshua? If I be not an apostle unto others, yet doubtless I am to you, for the seal of my apostleship or ye in Messiah Yeshua. Mine answer to them that do examine me is this. Have we not power to eat and to drink? Have we not power to lead about a sister and wife as well as other apostles, and as the brethren of our king and savior Yeshua and Caiaphas or Cephas? Or I only and Barnabas, have not we power to forbear working? Who goeth to warfare any time at his own charges? Who planted a vineyard and eat it not of the fruit thereof? Or who feedeth a flock and eat it not of the milk of the flock? Say I these things as a man, or said not the law the same also? For it is written in the law of Moses, Thou shalt not muzzle the mouth of the ox that treaded out the corn. Did El Elohim take care for the oxen? Or said he it all together for our sakes? For our sakes, no doubt, this is written, that he that ploweth shall plow in hope, and that he that thresheth in hope shall be partaker of his hope. If we have sown unto you spiritual things, it is a great thing, if we shall reap your carnal things. Again, verse 11, If we shall, if we have sown unto you spiritual things, is it a great thing if we shall reap your carnal things? If others be partakers of this power over you, or not, we rather? Nevertheless, we have not used this power, but suffer all things, lest we should hinder the gospel of Messiah Yeshua. Do ye not know that they which minister about holy things live of the things of the temple, and they which wait at the altar or partakers with the altar? Even so had Messiah Yeshua ordained that they which preach the gospel should live of the gospel. But I have used none of these things, neither have I written these things, that it should be so done unto me. For it were better for me to die than that any man should make me glorying void, my glorying void. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me, yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. For if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward, but if against my will a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me, what is my reward then? Verily, that when I preach the gospel, I may make the gospel of Messiah Shia Christ without charge, that I abuse not my power in the gospel. For though I be free from all men, yet have I made myself servant unto all, that I might gain the more. And unto the Jews, the descendants of Judah, I became as a Jew, that I might gain the Jews to them that are under the law as under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law. To them that are without law, as without law, being not without law to mighty God higher, but under the law of Messiah Yeshua, that I might gain them that are without law. To the weak became I as weak, that I might gain the weak. I am made all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you. Know ye not that they which run in a race 
run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. I therefore so run not as uncertainly, so fight I not as one that beateth the air. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be cast away, or be a castaway. Chapter 10 Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea, and were all baptized under Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and did all eat the same spiritual meat, and did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of the spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Messiah Yeshua. But with many of them El Elohiah was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things were our example to the intent we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. Neither be ye idolaters as were some of them, as it is written. The people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Neither let us commit fornication as some of them committed and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. Neither let us contempt Messiah Shai, as some of them also tempted, and were destroyed of serpents. Neither murmur ye, as some of them also murmur, and were destroyed of the destroyer. Now all things, now all these things happen unto them for in samples, and they are written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come. Wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. There had no temptation taken you but such as in common to man. But El Elohiahiah is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. Wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry. I speak as to wise men, judge ye what I say. The cup of blessing which ye bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Messiah Yeshua, some call Christ? The bread which we break, it, is it not the communion of the body of Messiah Yeshua, Christ? For we being many are one bread and one body, for we are all partakers of that one bread. Behold, Israel after the flesh, are not they which eat of the sacrifice partakers of the altar? What say I then, that the idols is, is anything, or that which is offered in sacrifice to idols is anything? But I say that the thing which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils, and not to mighty God Ahia. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Ye cannot drink the cup of mighty God Ahia and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of Messiah Yeshua's table and of the table of devils. Do we provoke Messiah Yeshua to jealousy? Do we provoke mighty God Ahia to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? All things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. Let no man seek his own, but every man another's wealth. Whatsoever is sold in the shambles that eat asking no question for the conscience sake. For the earth is mighty God highest, and the fullness thereof. If any of them that believe not bid you to a feast, and ye be disposed to go, whatsoever is said before you, eat, asking no question, for conscience sake. But if any man say unto you, This is offered in sacrifice unto idols, eat not for his sake, that show it, and for conscience sake. For the earth is mighty God highest, and the fullness thereof. Conscious, I say, not thine own, but of the other. For why is my liberty judged of in another man's conscience? For if I, by grace, by a partaker, why am I evil spoken of for that for which I give thanks? Whether, therefore, ye eat it or drink, or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of El Elohiahiah. Give none offense, neither to the Jews, the descendants of Judah, nor to the Gentiles, nor to the church of mighty God Ahiah. Even as I please all men in all things, 
not seeking my own profit, but the profit of many that they may be saved. Chapter 11 Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Messiah Yeshua, Christ. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Messiah Yeshua, some call Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is mighty God Ahia. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonored his head. But every woman that prayeth or prophesied with her head uncovered, dishonored her head. For that is even all one as if she were shaven. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shown. But it is be a shame for a woman to be shown or shaven, let her be covered. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of mighty God Ahia, but the woman is the glory of the man. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. For this cause ought the woman to have power on her head because of the angels. Nevertheless, neither is the man without the woman, neither the woman without the man in Messiah Yeshua. For as the woman is of the man, even so is the man also by the woman, but all things of Messiah Shia and mighty God Ahia. Judge in yourself, is it commonly that a woman pray unto mighty God Ahia uncovered? Did not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering. But if a man seem to be contentious, we have no such custom, neither the churches of mighty God Ahia. Now in this that I declare unto you, I praise you not that ye come together not for the better, but for the worse. For first of all, when ye come together in the church, I hear that there be divisions among you, and I partly believe it. For there must be also heresies among you, that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. When ye come together, therefore, into one place, this is not to eat, mighty God, a highest supper. supper. For in eating, every one take it before another his own supper, and one is hungry, and another is drunken. What? Have ye not houses to eat and to drink in? Or despise ye the church of mighty God, a higher, and shame them that have not? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. For I have received of Messiah Yeshua that which also I deliver unto you, that the king Messiah Yeshua the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup, when he had supped, saying, This cup is... The New Testament, in my blood, this do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show my Messiah Shai's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of mighty God Ahia and the King Yeshia unworthy, shall be guilty of the body and blood of Messiah Yeshia. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning Messiah Shia's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of Messiah Shia, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another, and if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together unto condemnation, and the rest will I set in order when I come. Chapter 12 Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. You know that you were Gentiles carried away into these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Wherefore, I give you to understand that no man speaketh by the Spirit of mighty God Ahia, call it Yeshia accursed, 
and that no man say can say that Yeshua is the king, but by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are differences of the administrations, but the same king. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same El Elohim, mighty God, which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit withal. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophesy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But all these work it that one and the self same Spirit, dividing to every man se severally as he will. For as the body is one and had many members, and all the members of that one body being many, or one body, so also is Messiah Yeshua, some call Christ. But by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one Spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, Because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, Because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearings? If the whole were hearing, where were the smellings? But now hath El Elohia Haya set the members, every one of them in the body, as it had pleased him. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now are they many members, but yet but one body. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. Nay, much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble or necessary. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more abundant honor, and our uncomingly parts have more abundant comingliness. For our comingly part have no need, but El Elohi Ahaya had tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part which lacketh. That there should be no schisms in the body, but that the members should have the same care of one for another. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. Or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now ye are the body of Messiah Shai and members in particular. And El Elohi had set some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healings, help, governments, diversities of tongues. Or all apostles, or all prophets, or all teachers, or all workers of miracles, have all the gifts of healing, do all speak with tongues, do all interpret, but convert earnestly the best gifts, and yet show I unto you a more excellent way. Chapter 13 Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass of a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gifts of prophecy, and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains, and have not charity, I am nothing. Charity is love. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it profited me not, profited me nothing. Charity suffered long and is kind. Charity envied it not. Charity vaunted not itself, is not puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemly. Seek not her own, is not easily provoked. Think not evil. Think no evil. Rejoicing not in iniquity, but rejoicing in the truth. Bear it all things, believe in all things, hope in all things, endure it all things. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. 
For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am now known. And now abided faith, hope, charity, which is love, these three, but the greatest of these is charity, which is love. Chapter 14 Follow after charity, and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that ye may prophesy. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto mighty God a higher. For no man understandeth him, howbeit in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. But he that prophesieth speaketh unto men to to edification and exhortation and comfort. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edified himself, but he that prophesied edified the church. I would that ye all speak with tongues, but rather that ye prophesy it. For greater is he that prophesied than he that speaketh with tongues, except he interpret that the church may receive edifying. Now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you except I speak? shall speak to you either by revelation or by knowledge, or by prophesying or by doctrine. And, ev and even things without life given sound, whether pipe or harp, except they give a distinction in the sound, how shall it be known what is pipe or harp? For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? So likewise ye accept ye utter by the tongue words easy to be understood. How shall it be known what is spoken? For you shall speak into the air. There are, it may be so, many kinds of voices in the world, and none of them is without signification. Therefore, if I know not the meaning of the voice, I shall be unto him that speaketh a barbarian, and he that speaketh shall be a barbarian unto me. Even so, ye, so as much as ye are zealous of the spiritual gifts, Seek that ye may excel to the edifying of the church. Wherefore let him that speaketh in an unknown tongue pray that he may interpret. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth, but my understanding is unfruitful. What is it then? I will pray with the spirit, and I will pray with the understanding also. I will sing with the spirit, and I will sing with the understanding also. Else when thou shalt bless with the spirit, how shall... He that occupieth the room of the unlearned say Amen at thy giving or thanks, seeing he understand not what thou sayest. For thou verily givest thanks, well be the other is not edified. I thank my mighty God Ahia, I speak with tongues more than ye all. Yet in the church I had rather speak five words with my understanding than be my voice, I might teach others also that then than ten thousand words in an unknown tongue. Brethren, be not children in understanding. How being in malice be ye children, but in understanding be men. In the law it is written, With men of other tongues and other lips will I speak unto this people. And yet for all that will they not hear me, said mighty God Ahia. Wherefore tongues are for signs, wherefore tongues are for a sign, not to them that believe, but to them that believe not. But the prophesying serveth not for them that believe not, but for them which believe. If therefore the world church be come together into one place, and all speak with tongues, and there come in those that are unlearned or unbelievers, will they not say that are ye are mad? But if all prophesy, and there come in one that believe it not, or one unlearned, he is convinced of all, he is judged of all. And thus are the secrets of his heart made manifest, and so falling down on his face, he will worship mighty God Ahia, and report that mighty God Ahia is in you of a truth. How is it then, brethren, when ye come together, every one of you had a psalm, had a doctrine, had a tongue, had a revelation, had an interpretation, that all things be done into edifying? If any man speak in an unknown tongue, let it be by two, or at the most by three, and then by course, and let one interpret. But if there be no interpreter, let him keep silence in the church, and let him speak 
himself and to mighty God Ahia. Let the prophets speak two or three, and let the others judge. If anything be revealed to another that sitteth by, let the first hold his peace. For ye may all prophesy one by one, that all may learn and all may be comforted. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. For mighty God Ahia is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also said the law. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for women to speak in the church. What? Came the word of mighty God Ahia out from you, or came it unto you only? If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the thing that I write unto you are the commandments of mighty God Ahia. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. Wherefore, brethren, covet to prophesy, and forbid not to speak with tongues. Let all things be done decently and in order. Chapter 15 Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, but which also you are saved if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I believe unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Messiah Yeshua died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures, and that he was seen of Cephas then of the twelve. After that he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain until this present, but some are fallen asleep. After that he was seen of James and of all the apostles, and last of all he was seen of me also as of one born out of due time. For I am the least of the apostles that am not meet to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of mighty God Ahia. But by the grace of mighty God Ahia, I, I am what I am, and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I, but the grace of mighty God Ahia which was with me. Therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preached, and so ye believe. Now if Messiah Yeshua Christ be preached, that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Messiah Shia not risen? And if Messiah Shia be not risen, then is our preaching vain, and your faith is also in vain. Yeah, and we are found false witnesses of mighty God Ahia, because we have testified of mighty God Ahia that he raised up Messiah Shia, some called Christ, who was raised not up, if so be that the dead rise not. Well, if the dead rise not, then is not Messiah Shia raised? And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain, you are yet in your sins. Then they also which are fallen asleep in Messiah Shia are perished. If in this life only we hope in Messiah Shia, Christ, we are all men most miserable. But now in Messiah Shia risen from the dead and become the first fruit of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even to, so in Messiah Shia, some called Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Messiah Shia the first fruits, afterward they that are Christ is at his coming. Then cometh the end, when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to mighty God Ahia, even the heavenly Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. For he must reign till he had put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. For he had put all things under his feet. But when he said all things were put under him, it is manifest that he is expected which did put all things under him. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him, that Elohim may be all in all. Else what shall they do which are baptized for the dead, if the dead rise not at all? 
Why are they then baptized for the dead? And why stand we in jeopardy every hour? I protest by your rejoicing, which I have in Messiah Yeshua, our King and Savior, I die daily. If after the manner of men I have fought with beasts at Ephesus, what advantage is it me if the dead rise not? Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. But not deceive at evil, communications corrupt good manners. Awake to righteousness and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of mighty God Ahia. I speak this to your shame. But some men will say, How are the dead raised up? And with what body do they come? Thou fool, that which thou sowest is not quickened, except it die. And that which thou sowest, thou sowest not the body that shall be, but bare grain it may chance of wheat or of some other grain. But mighty God Ahia giveth it a body as it had pleased him, and to every seed his own body. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fish, and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrials, but the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars, for one star differed from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption, it is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, it is raised in power. It is sown a natural body, it is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, the first man Adam was made a living soul, the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Howbeit that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. The first man is of the earth, earthy, the second man is mighty God a higher from heaven. As is the earthy, such are they also that are earthy, and as it the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of mighty God, a higher neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For the corrupt must be must put on incorruption and this mortal must be put on immortality so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written that the swallowed up in victory o death where is thy sting o grave where is thy victory the sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law but thanks be to mighty God Ahia, which giveth us the victory through our King and Savior, Yeshia, Messiah. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of Messiah, Yeshia, for as much as we know that your labor is not in vain in Messiah, Yeshia. Chapter 16 Now concerning the collection for the saints, as I have given order to the churches of Galatia, even so do ye. Upon the first day of the week, let every one of you lay by him in store, as mighty God I had prospered him, that there be no gathering when I come. And when I come, whosoever ye shall approve by your letters, then will I send to bring your liberty unto Jerusalem. And if it be me that I go also, that shall go with me. Now I will come unto you when I shall pass through Macedonia, for I do pass through Macedonia, and it may be that I will abide yet yeah, and winter with you, that ye may bring me on my journey whatsoever I go. For I will not see you now by the way, but I trust to tarry a while with you, if Messiah shall permit. But I will tarry at Ephesus and to Pentecost, for a great door and effectual is open unto me, and there are many diversaries, advers adversaries, sorry. Now if Timotheus come, see that he may be with you without fear, for he worketh the work of my mighty God Ahia, as I also do. Let no man therefore despise him, be, but conduct 
but conduct him forth in peace that he may come unto me, for I look for him with brethren. As touching our brother Apollos, I greatly despise him to come unto you with the brethren, but his will was not at all to come at this time, but he will come when he shall have convenient time. Watch ye stand fast in the faith, quit you like men, be strong. Let all your things be done with charity, with love. I beseech you, brethren, ye know the house of Stephanus, that it is the first fruits of Achaia, and that they have added themselves to the ministry of the saints. That ye submit yourselves unto such and to every one that help it with us, and labor it. I am glad of the coming of Stephanus and Fortun Fortuniatus and Archiacus, for that which was lacking on your part they have supplied. For they have refreshed my spirit and yours, therefore, and knowledge ye them that are such. The churches of Asia salute you. Aquilia and Priscilla salute you much in Messiah Shia with the church that is in their house. All the brethren greet you, greet you one another with an holy kiss. The salutation of me, Paul, with mine own hand. If any man love not the king Messiah Shia, let him be Anathemia Maran Maraniatha. The grace of mighty God Ahia and Yeshia Messiah be with you. My love be with you all in Messiah Yeshia. Amen.